Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a video pattern review of this pattern right here. This is McCall's 8253 super cute pattern with the ruching on the bodice and on the skirt with a cutout in the center. I love this pattern when it came out. I think it was last year and my daughter loved it too. So she got the pattern and we both made dresses from this pattern this year. And interestingly enough, we had similar fit issues. I would highly recommend if you're using this pattern, please make sure to do a muslin to assess the fit. Whenever I work with the big four pattern, whether it be Butterick, McCall, Simplicity, or Vogue, there are certain pattern alterations that I always do. And I learned this through studying fit and taking fitting classes for the past 15 years, as well as completing my own saran wrap block, which I thought would be very helpful and eye-opening, and it certainly was. Later on this fall, I will be doing part two of my saran wrap block video because I couldn't find my saran wrap block in the pattern. I finally found it when I was doing a major cleanup. So that will be coming this fall. What you're going to see is my muslin after my initial normal pattern alterations. And then I'm gonna do an assessment on fit, tell you the things that are wrong, and tell you how I think I'm going to go about solving them. I do mention doing a short torso adjustment because I have a short torso, but I changed my mind on that and I decided to go a different route with creating princess themes and you're going to see that in part two so stay tuned and i hope you learned something from this video yeah i want to talk to you about my test muslin and this is the pattern right here if you can't see it very well i'm going to just put a picture here it's mccall's 8253 this pattern came multi-sized in sizes 8 to 16 which is a great range for me to blend because i always do a lot of blending in the pattern before I cut it out. So the blending was the first alteration I did and I cut a 10 for the neckline and the shoulders. Grade from a 10 down to right here, I start tapering to a 14 because I like to use a 14 for the bust. When I'm doing a pattern with a knit, I don't necessarily do a full bust adjustment. If I look at the degree of stretch on the pattern and the pattern calls for something that has 50% stretch, this fabric does not have 50% stretch, so I made sure I cut my seam allowances at one inch for fitting. It's just a rough and dirty muslin. I was hoping maybe I'd get something wearable, but it didn't quite work out. All right, so overall, it's not bad, but let's see what's going on here. I also did a half inch forward shoulder adjustment. So this seam right here tends to fall in the back on me on the big four patterns. I moved it forward a half inch. I also did a half inch forward shoulder adjustment on the sleeve. So what I did here, I transferred to the sleeve and then I lengthened the sleeve one inch. I did a sway back tuck on the back of five eighths of an inch because that's pretty standard on a big four pattern for me. And I also did an armhole shoulder slide of three eighths of an inch. What the heck is this alteration? This is a brilliant alteration that is found in the Palmer Pletch Fit for Real People book. And I usually get gaping right here even though my bust fits and I have enough room circumference wise I get gaping here on my body now sometimes gaping can indicate you need a full bust adjustment but on this one because I know I have enough fabric that gaping is more of a shaping issue because I'm very small here going to a full bust down I do a shoulder slide adjustment and it takes care of that gaping beautifully. So I will show you on my cutting table how to do this brilliant alteration. It solved a lot of headaches for me. All right, so let's look at the front area right here. Well, you can see that this, I don't want my bra to show. That is just not what I, what I wanted to have. So what I'm going to do when I alter this pattern for the good fashion fabric, I am going to move this down one inch. I wanna show a little bit of cleavage, even though on the model it's up here. Then what I'm going to do is drop this area down about one and a half to two inches. I'm going to drop this area down about two inches. And that should take care of the front and I'll have a nice looking front that doesn't show my bra. On the back, you can see right here, overall, it looks pretty good. You see the lumps on the bra, I don't like that. I do like more substantial fabrics or prints hide that as well. But right here, I added a waistline seam. It's a little too high, but think of this waistline seam more as a fisheye dart tapering to nothing at the sides. I am going to add 
a horizontal waist seam on my pattern so I can really tweak it in this area. But I think the most important thing for me to do at this point is to do a short torso adjustment. Stay tuned, I'm going to do the alterations on the table for you. I'll show you what I've done and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching this video. I will be doing more fitting videos to explain my thought process on what's going on and hopefully it'll help you think more in terms of what you need for your alterations as well.